Hello everyone, this is Shane Gibson with Rackhead, and this is a quick instructional video on how to use the third-party integration plugin uh, for the Blanco LUN Eraser, which is a secure wipe and delete solution that allows you to wipe systems to various standards levels. You can find out more about Blanco at Blanco, B-L-A-N-C-C-O.com. And specifically, the product that we've implemented is the Block Blanco Lawn Eraser. Uh, you will need to have uh, commercial licenses from Blanco to use this software, or you will have to have a trial license of some sort set up with them. Uh, with that process, you will also have to have your uh, cloud.blanco account set up, and the Blanco uh, management console uh, we'll, we will be interacting with the uh, Blanco Management Console as part of this uh, demonstration. Uh, so that's Racken implementing a third-party integration for Blanco LUN Eraser. We are going to first start out uh, with basically two parts to this video. The first part, we're going to start uh, by installing DR, Digital Rebar Platform. That's the Racken product that provides infrastructure automation. And we are going to show um, a, basically a net zero uh, install of the product. Uh, essentially, we are going to uh, run uh, five commands. We're going to curl the install script. We are going to install our sledgehammer or our discovery operating system uh, that we will use to boot the machines into. It's a live boot uh, memory uh, in memory uh, OS. We'll set some preferences. We'll create a DHCP subnet. And then we will uh, add the profile, which describes how we're going to configure and use the Blanco Lawn Eraser product. So to get started with, we do a PS and grep for DR provision. We see that we have no DR provision service running. So we're going to run this script really quick. And all it is going to do is essentially implement our quick start, which you can find on the Racken portal. Uh, you can go to the Racken portal by going to portal.racken.io, uh, and the quick start documentation is embedded in here. Uh, we are simply adding a few additional pieces that we're uh, plumbing up at configuration time. As you see, we've uh, all of these pieces have come up correctly, and if we go to uh, our DRP endpoint. We go to the DRP endpoint that's been built. We log in and we'll see that um, we have a configured DRP endpoint, specifically some of the system preference settings. Uh, and if we take a look at the machines, we'll see that we have no machines that are newly discovered. Now, as the keen eyed of you out there might have noticed, uh, there are four console machines over here. These are virtual machines in my uh, dev test environment. Uh, these machines are just sitting idle right now and what we're going to do is kick them over. Uh, actually before I do that, uh, yeah let me go ahead and kick those over and those machines are going to be destroyed and then started up and boot and then do an initial pixie boot uh, discovery process. Now, uh, as far as the, what's required for the Blanco Lun Eraser on the digital rebar platform side, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, our standard catalog uh, traditionally carries uh, content components and pieces. Uh, there is a plugin called Blanco Lun Eraser, which is what gets installed that confers the capability and the integration with this software. Uh, if you do not see the Blanco Lun Eraser in the catalog, contact us at support at rackend.com. This is uh, new uh, capabilities going into our catalog. To, as of today, um, mid-April, it hasn't yet gone into the catalog, mid-April 2021. Uh, sometime within the next week or two, you should see this show up in our standard catalog. You can install it from there. Uh, once those machines have kicked over, we see that they're uh, back into Sledgehammer. If we come back over to our machines list, we see we have four discovered machines. And these machines are just sitting idly by in the sledgehammer operating system, and they're just waiting for something to do. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to add our uh, Blanco wipe profile. That was something that the install script injected for us. So we're going to add that to the machines. This is the configuration data that tells us the how to integrate with and how to use the Blanco software. If we take a look at this profile very quickly, 
we'll see that we've got a set of disks to wipe. I've already preset that I'm going to wipe disk SDC. Uh, you can set multiple disks, SDA, SDB, SDC, etc. Uh, the integration is also smart enough to determine if the disks don't exist on the system, it won't try and wipe a non-existent disk. In this case, we're interacting with the Blanco Cloud Service uh, at cloud.blanco.com. Uh, they have a product that allows you to install the management console and license server on uh, locally on-premises. And so you can change this parameter point to your local uh, management console. Uh, I have my username on the cloud service. Uh, very importantly, this BLE wipe disks parameter must be set to true. By default, this parameter is described as false. So we see that it has a default value of false. This means we will not perform any wipe operations unless you intentionally set this to true. It's a safety mechanism. Coupled with BLE disks, you must specify the disks that you must that you want to wipe. These two are, help you try and protect from uh, creating any chaos or mischief accidentally at a grand scale. Since we can automate uh, tens of thousands of physical machines, it would be a, a bad day in an administrator's life uh, if they wiped all 10,000 machines' disks accidentally. And that's the power of automation platforms. Importantly, there's the wipe level that you can set. Uh, there are many different wipe levels that can be set. The default one uh, is the NIST 888 clear wipe level that we'll be using. Uh, you can set this value to any of the supported uh, versions that the Blanco product supports. And last, we're going to implement a um, uh, profile uh, to uh, record the wipe reports too. Uh, so Part of the Blanco product is it provides you assurance and certification that disks have been wiped with specific digital signatures that are recognized. Uh, and in this case, the uh, reports are sent up to the Blanco Cloud uh, Management Console. They're also recorded on the machine objects as we delete them. And then optionally, you can create a profile that records for each of your machines the same set of data. It just keeps it in one place. Very nice thing to do. One last thing we're going to do here is we need a password. So we need to add the password for the portal. Uh, we're going to add that. And we're going to set the password uh, to the uh, user account that's uh, defined, uh, in this case, shanatrackend.com. And we're going to input that value and save this profile. So now that we have the profile um, describing our configuration, we have the profile attached to our machine. It's very straightforward to run this product and, and nuke a bunch of disks. You just simply run the workflow Blanco LUN Eraser on the machines. And so this is going to kick off. It's going to verify that we're in the Sledgehammer operating system. And then it's going to perform the wipe operation. Now, I've done this wipe operation on very small disks. They're 100 meg disks, so that it happens very fast. As you can see, we've already completed wiping all the disks on all of the machines. Uh, if you have very large disks, some of these processes can take a very long time. That is what they do. They make absolutely certain that they're nuking the data at the subatomic, okay, maybe not the subatomic cellular level, but they're doing a tremendous amount of standards compliance wipe process to make sure that things are nuked. If we come back and take a look at the job log, we can see looking through the job log, it's telling us what's going to happen in here. Uh, it's, it tells us we're going to uh, target the SDC disks. It tells us the disks that were found on the device. Uh, we're going to go through. We're actually going to build up a config file, the config.txt, which uh, tells the product how to work. Um, we run the product, and, and then we get the results from the Blanco Line Eraser product, uh, showing us the wipe operations. We also then uh, build up our reporting pieces, and we also dump in the job log. This is the Blanco uh, Line Eraser uh, wipe report that is produced. They produce an XML report uh, that describes the wipe process, and it has uh, this uh, signature defined in it that verifies. It's the digital signature that verifies this wipe report's uh, integrity. Uh, in addition to that, uh, the machines get a new profile added to them. So this purple star gets added to the machines. And for each of the machines that ran the wipe process, 
uh, we get a machine UUID and then the report values uh, dumped into the machine's uh, parameter value. And so that gives us that aggregate uh, report value uh, from the, the machines. If we also take a look, um, there's the individual parameter on the machine with the same wipe report. So we're making sure that we're providing that uh, wipe report in a number of different places. And that is, that's it. That's um, the Blanco uh, LUN eraser product, starting with a completely clean slate, uh, quick installation of digital rebar. You discover those machines. Uh, once we have those machines, we simply run uh, the workflow uh, to wipe those machines after we've configured uh, the product. Very straightforward, incredibly powerful. And also, remember, with such great power comes a tremendous amount of responsibility. Like I said, our product, um, once you tell it to do something, you better be pretty sure uh, that you want to wipe those machines. If you have a large estate or infrastructure, uh, we can wipe an awful lot of infrastructure pretty quickly. And that could, can be destructive. This is a great tool and a great product if you are decommissioning machines, uh, if you are in a, a sector, a business sector that has a sensitivity about the data or you want to just be certain that the data on your disks is truly cleaned and wiped. Uh, this gives you a tremendous amount of um, comfort knowing that uh, you've wiped these uh, disks to standards compliance levels. There's a, an awful lot that you can do with it. All right, thank you. This is Shane Gibson with RackN, and this wraps up the Blanco LUN Eraser uh, integration.